Hi. Hello. Welcome to my video. You like this opening, don't you? But I don't. Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at Silva, the next unit in the rebalanced. I'm almost done, guys. Thank you, God. Anyways, Silva got a couple of new tricks in her arsenal, making her a little bit quicker. She kind of reminds me of Summer Vera in terms of being very Ogi heavy while cutting scale cooldowns. But let's talk about her. Now, the first change she got was to Bury and Bullet. Now, it gains the ability to um, cut skill cooldowns by two every time she ogies. This is the exact same thing that Summer Vera ended up getting, which is very, very good. Makes them a lot quicker when it comes to cycling their skills, which is very nice, especially on ogie builds, which Water is very fond of thanks to Bony Toe. So, it's a very good combo. Her skill one and skill two see no change. Neither does her skill three, funny enough. So all these skills stay the same. But what does change is her skill four, a shot in the dark, now becomes a recastable skill. It used to be a one-time call or one-time cast. Now you can recast it. It gains a cooldown of eight turns, which is kind of long, but thanks to Silva's Ogi, she gets to cycle through her skills a lot quicker. Now, another thing that would change is that it has a turn startup, which is ready in three turns. It used to be ready in five turns, so it's, it's a lot quicker to come out, which is not bad at all. Uh, just to know that her Ogi does not affect the ready in three turns. Just keep that in mind. Her uh, first support skill gets no change, even though boost of charge bar gain seemed very bland in 2019. I feel like we need more Yu-Gi-Oh card techs. Just me though. What does she change is her stick to your guns. Now it gains a boost to water allies critical hit damage cap. However, in this video, we won't be seeing much of that because the build I'll be running is an Ogi build opposed to critical. However, with her skill two, she does boost her critical. So you may see her break cap every now and then. But with that, let's get started with the video and let's go fight a boss. I totally did not fight Prometheus with this team. I just ran and got bodied. <laughs> no, I didn't. What? No, I didn't. You got no proof of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's like the wrong thing there, buddy. I'm not using scales. But yeah, we're going to be taking on Athena because, you know, we got Veil, right? Why not? Uh, we don't have much debuffs here, unfortunately. I can only bring armor and miserable mist. Uh, yeah, we won't be capping the fence down. Now, I could swamp out Catalina for a unit to cap the fence down. But I really want to use Catalina, bro. So we use Catalina. I mean, that's, that's my game plan. My video, my showcase. I use who I want. Anyways, hit these skills. Bonk. Hit that skill. Hit this skill. Hit that skill. Miss my defense down because it's a video from me. Um, obviously. Well, I was, definitely, I was definitely really scared we're gonna miss the fence down. <laughs> we can use our oath on main character. I guess we can use the phalanx too. This should, do, this should do a pretty amount of damage, right? Even though we don't cap the fence down, you know, Ogis. I was gonna say, this, this should do good damage. I'll lie to you guys. I'm sorry. Damage is pretty boo boo. Feels no buffs, man. It would have been good damage. If she, if the, you know what probably happened was that Kango didn't crit. So the skill one gives you critical boost. So because we didn't crit, that damage is pretty boo-boo, unfortunately. But it's okay. It's okay. At least someone makes up for it, right? 6.5k? Ooh. Big girl damage. Watch he dodge. Not bad, not bad. Okay, hit that, hit this, and we'll activate Moon, because why not? And that should be the end of the... Wow, we are not critting! Can I crit, bro? What is... What's Kango's crit rate? Can somebody tell me? Because this is unfair, bro. How am I not critting? It's rigged. It's a rigged system. 
You heard it here first, guys. Kango's crit does not work properly. We need to get it fixed. So we should Ogi here, then multi-attack enough to get an Ogi back, I hope. I pray. Yeah, cool, sweet. And that should give everybody a full chain. Now, unfortunately, a Breach is not back up again, so we won't be able to cap defense down. Well, Breach doesn't cap defense down, but... We wouldn't be, we're not going to be hitting as high as we could hit, unfortunately. That's okay, because Ogi's generally do pretty decent damage. Is that our auto is going to be kind of bad, but I think that's fine. So we do have our skills up. We're going to have to swamp her right now, I guess. So I put Greya in. Um, I don't know what the best unit to have in that slot right now. I put Greya because I like Greya, but I really don't know what like the most optimal unit you want to put there. If you guys want to recommend some units, just tell me about it. Like, I thought about putting in um, Uno. Uno, it, it depends on the content, right? Like a co content where Uno can counter. I think Uno is not a bad option. I thought about other units like uh, what that what that one guy with the the the, the Megaton laser beam thing. I don't remember his name, dude. I <laughs> uh, whatever his name is. I think. He has like blast toys. <laughs> I remember people calling him blast toys. That's all I remember, dude. But I really don't know what's the best unit to really utilize her uh, silver skill for right now. Probably need some more, uh, some more like testing. I just haven't really thought of one, unfortunately. This auto damage is pretty boo boo. It, it hurts that we're not capping. We're not capping um, defense down too. So we combine both both those things together. It's pretty bad. Cool. Good thing I didn't use that. And her skills are back up, so we can cycle through them again. Get that. Fine. Oh, you know what? I could probably hit fear. I could have used fear on dog. I kind of forget she has fear. I'll, I'll be honest. Most content in the game is immune to fear, unfortunately. So dog's fear really doesn't do anything in majority of content. It's one of those p skills that are so powerful that they end up like you know making most bosses immune to it. I do like the 6.5k on her skill one, but I feel like they need to increase the skill one. At least make it like one to three turns or something. Outside of that one nuke, it kind of falls off really hard in terms of damage. I really wish they would have changed the skill one. I would have preferred that than her skill four change. At least just increase the skill one a couple turns. It would make her a really good burst character rather than a one burst character. But people can have different opinions than me. That's what I think, at least. And we're coming to the end of this fight here. Um, I think we have Mackie up, right? No, two turns. Yolo, Bonito. Wow, her skill four is back up again. Wow, that's fast. So this is this is my game plan, like to rotate between skill four and um see how well it works, but I don't know if like really the best thing with Greya. I don't think it's off or anything, but I, I don't know if it's like optimal. I'm pretty sure people have like better ideas maybe. But I, st I still haven't got something yet. The hardest part is getting Greya or her Ogi. As you can see there, Greya did an Ogi. She was close to an Ogi, but she needs, I believe, main character to Ogi twice for her to really use it. So that's one thing that can be kind of hard. I'll deal with Ren out. That's okay. Plus fight's over. Wow, we have to hit the fence now. Oh my god. 
I feel like it ended up being a Greya video more than a Silva video. <laughs> I mean, her, her gimmick is to remove herself from the fight, right? Silva. So, you know, she's not going to get too much time in the front, front line. Anyways, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.